Hey friends, welcome to Itscript.info. My name is Rizwan Khan and I am back to my YouTube channel after a long time. Previously, I did a lot of uh, videos on my YouTube channel and some of the videos were really get very good response from my viewers and also some of the videos got a lot of uh, comments like whenever people were getting uh, errors or troubles, they were, they were uh, commenting on my videos and sadly I was uh, busy on my time and doing some uh, work uh, like office work and other things so didn't get much time to make replies on those videos real sorry for that but from now onwards I will try to keep update my youtube channel I'll keep on updating uh, new videos I will try to upload at least one video in a day so make sure if you have any trouble just do the comments and i will definitely try uh, reply those comments from the onwards and i will be uh, regular on my youtube channel so in this video i'm going to share my experience about modern stack so this is one of the most popular technology stack among all of the technology stack uh, the reason is uh, this is the technology stack which you make use of a single programming language that is a javascript so you must have to be master in javascript i also did one uh, crash course in javascript so link is available in the description if you want to go through the basic stuff but i'm going to stop of javascript you can go through that but not much and uh, so if you want me to do uh, esx related videos so do let me know in the comment section but this video i'm going to tell you my end goal about this video and i will also create a e-commerce project uh, that is the end goal of video and i'm going to share uh, uh, today's uh, end goal of this video is an e-commerce project which i'm going to show you just now and uh, let me introduce you the one stack uh, what is this stack so here you can see the four little words on my screen uh, mongodb m for mongodb e for express react node.js so first of all what is a stack stack is nothing but the combination of technology which we are going to use for our web, web application development or software development so in general cases uh, stack in, involves uh, different types of programming language different types of frameworks and a lot of other things but here the special thing about modern stack is make use of a single programming language that is a javascript and uh, that is very cool and everyone uh, i think uh, most of the people if they are a web developer they they, they are familiar with the uh, javascript so it's easy for them here uh, what we are going to use in this project that is the m um, the first of all uh, as a database we are going to use mongodb it's a no sql database opposite of uh, sql database okay so if you're familiar with the rdbms uh, for example like uh, mysql or any other data rdbms database so there you have to define a table structure of the database like you are going to write id and uh, the type of the id teaser columns name email password varchar and multiple types like enumerator date time and different types here mongodb is a completely schemaless database there we uh, say like uh, we have a number of rows in our table but here we have uh, documents so mongodb each uh, uh, there is a table here we have a collection and every collection is a collection of documents so we can map it like collection uh, table equals to collection rows equals to documents but the important thing here is mongodb one document uh, might be different from another document so there is no fixed thing like in sql database so that's the flexibility we have in mongodb and the, the next is uh, express that is a uh, one of the most popular uh, node.js uh, backend framework like Every popular company like PayPal or uh, Netflix and other companies make use of these uh, uh, express framework and other things. If, if you want, I will, I will show you like uh, here. Here you see we have, uh, this is a MongoDB uh, official website and these are the companies who make use of MongoDB. So see, there are a lot of companies Adobe make use of MongoDB, Nokia, eBay, Google, Cisco, SAP, Facebook. There are a lot of companies you can see PayPal also make use of uh, a MongoDB database as a database and there are a lot of things. Also you, you see the companies who are using uh, ExpressJS, you can see IBM, Accenture um, and uh, Mintra. So these are the popular companies who are using, uh, uh, who are using the ExpressJS as a, as, a, as a framework in their backend system somewhere. Uh, and uh, the another thing we have uh, React. So React is uh, for uh, user interface. This is one of the uh, hot 
uh, JavaScript library people are using for their front end, and this is completely component based. Right now, I don't want to go in depth of React, but uh, be, uh, like I will go through the basic stuff of Rea React, and uh, once we are ready to move on the project, then I will start working on the React thing. Like uh, while learning, we will uh, see a lot of things in React. What we can do with the React. So also, React is uh, Facebook itself using React, and there are other companies like Netflix, PayPal, not PayPal, but Netflix is using uh, uh, React, and many other popular companies using React. Node.js, uh, we are going to use Node as a web server here, and everything is uh, like required support of Node for everything. Like if you want a package library, you will have to make use of Node to install them to make them work. So Node is uh, as a web server here we, in this technology that we are using. And uh, let let me show you the uh, end goal of my, uh, my uh, this video series. So here. So uh, I have a project uh, uh, like uh, uh, e-commerce website and this is the backend. Uh, we are in the backend uh, directory of my project. I'm going to start the server, node server. So, so the node server is started. So I'm going to start my uh, React application here. Uh, both of the application uh, running simultaneously in my system right now on different ports and different server so they will not conflict with each other so th so here it uh, started the special thing about this uh, application is it is like it is like a two different application one is the front end application that is based on react another one is the back end application that is based on the express and node.js and uh, the special thing about Node.js uh, backend is uh, it, it is a complete set of RESTful APIs. So that is a bunch of APIs there is written, and uh, all the time we are uh, calling those APIs and rendering the data in our uh, front end using the uh, React. So here you can see, you can see on the screen. Also, I can show you those APIs in my Postman, and also where you can uh, see the project. Uh, I will add that link in the description. So see, I uh, have uh, the local host for 19 products creates. This, this is an API to create the product. Here we'll have to mention the details of the product, price, stock, description, product pictures. We can add multiple uh, images for one product. That's my concept. Keywords, category, type of the, who created this product. So also it requires an admin. But I know also I have an admin uh, thing. Like here you see, I have an admin API. So admin using this API, admin can log in and also admin can, once I admin uh, log in, then he will get a uh, token just to make sure he's a valid uh, user, authenticated user. So using his token, he can create the products. Also, he can see a lot of other things. Right now, I haven't created a user interface for my uh, backend uh, application but uh, we can make use of these apis to make sure like uh, how many products are there how many how we can how we can add the product uh, using this uh, these uh, set of apis everything is based on apis so it's very easy for everyone to make use they don't need to go in the details of the application if they want to uh, use uh, this application right now so let me show you what it what i got here so here uh, first i'm showing the random number of products and that includes uh, random things here I have a filter uh, which involves the categories and also it's a hierarchical data structure. Uh, and uh, this is an, uh, another thing I have a price filter, low to high, high to low. Then I have a cool tap drop down. So this is a drop down, and I will I will give you uh, I will tell you like uh, don't make uh, uh, multiple level of uh, hierarchies. Like for example, electronics, mobiles. Then inside mobiles you will have an Android or iOS. So if you go in that way, you can go, uh, you can add uh, data like that. But uh, our UI will broke and uh, then you'll have to create different UI. Right now, this UI is not supporting uh, multi multiple uh, level of, multi level of uh, categories, just uh, category and subcategory. So I, I will also try to do that uh, in another separate videos. 
these are the categories and here is a list so let's uh, see right now i have uh, nothing in my accessories handbags nothing but i have something in my t-shirts bunch of t-shirts you have to see uh, the title of the shirts price and everything is here so we can do a filter like uh, low to high you see the shirts are switched from each other 10 15 21 now high to low you see the increasing order of the price 35 21 15 so th these are the things we can do and also we can open the uh, description page of the product here I'll, I'm also uh, adding uh, like uh, the similar products if someone uh, using this uh, if someone adding the uh, uh, seeing the product then he can also see the similar products right now this is not a uh, dynamic this is just a static HTML CSS thing and also I'm trying to add uh, reviews so everyone can give uh, reviews my data structure is uh, like that uh, um, they can add the reviews in a single product so what we can do here right now i am already logged in i can see my orders so these are the orders up to now uh, up to now i added in uh, i ordered here you can see the last product on uh, ordered on 24 10 to 19 uh, total order 62 dollar type of the payment cod it's a cash on delivery delivery added so if you want to go home and if you want to open one of the shirt let's say if you try to add it and I hope this is added. You can see if you open that and you see I have a cart, and there you can we can increase the prices. Also, we can remove the t-shirts. Let's give it give it one. But let's log out for the moment now. And uh, sorry, when the cart is ready, uh, I haven't created the profile the profile page yet. So here I'm just going to make logout. And if you want to go go to the description page, I can go. If you try to add see i have to log in first so i'm going to use my uh, buyer account so this is my uh, uh, gmail id and i'm gonna i can see my added product uh, what i added previously and you can see the price details also like 21 dollar total payable amount 22 dollar i can also add uh, more items if i want uh, let's say this shirt also so I have I added two different types of shirts. Let's increase the quantity of the shirt. Uh, okay, the React special thing see here. Now place order. Here you see the bunch of uh, addresses available. So these are the four addresses I added. And if I want to add a new address, I can also add a new address. Uh, I don't want all of these addresses. I want to uh, different people and different person. I want to deliver it. So I can have mention the address details if you want, or else you can add uh, any of the existing address. So let's uh, here we go. One of the existing address and uh, deliver here. So see the login is done. Delivery address is set. Of the summary is in front of you, and uh, these are the uh, summary. And if you want to continue, now see we have a credit card option, net banking, PayPal. So these are uh, we're not able to do. Make, we're not able to use uh, one of these options. Like sorry, only cash and delivery is available right now. Maybe in future I will make use of PayPal and any other payment gateways possible. I will definitely let you know. The important thing is the logic and concept, right? Those are just uh, outsource outsource services from the outsiders. So here, uh, cash and delivery. Here we can make. The, uh, the, I can use this option. Now confirm order. Hey, we are done. We added our. Uh, we ordered our product and I got my order ID. And then I, I will also, I will receive an email shortly. And if you see, if you go in the order section, you will see uh, this is the two shirts I ordered, and also the payment details I have to pay fifty one dollar when someone will give me this T shirt in front of my door, right? So guys, hope you uh, like this video and, uh, and 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 I will show you the database thing if you are interested. Okay, yeah, let's leave it for now. The database. Uh, I will, when I will start, uh, just after this video, next video I will show you the the basic stuff of the React, how we are going to use of React and Node.js. Just, just so I want you to be familiar with those things before going through this uh, project, right? And this this is a this is a project which will help you to crack a lot of things if you are working with the uh, these uh, modern technology. You will come up with a lot of different situation and cases. 
uh, and this project is going to be really handy for your uh, future projects or whatever you're trying to do because really it's looking simple but it is not simple you have seen the uh, that that is a single page application right this whole thing is going on a single uh, one page so it is not uh, looking it is looking maybe uh, just uh, it's just a bunch of uh, pages product description all but it, it is not like that it's really good and you are going to learn a lot of amazing things and it's a real experience i'm going to share with you so just make sure to like this video and make sure to share with your friends family and whoever are interested in this kind of things and i really love you guys and don't forget to uh, like and subscribe this uh, video and also help me to be in my channel because i'm losing control on my youtube channel thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe love you bye